A disclaimer before we start, this type of eating works for me, namely two big meals and snacks in between as well as tons of water which I haven't shown in this video. Please do not take this as me giving any dietary advice, what works for you is what works for you. So on Monday I just had my infamous peanut butter and banana on rice cakes. I love my peanut butter crunchy. Tons of people are probably rolling their eyes at me right now. But I love to have texture in my food. So let me know down in the comments if you guys like crunchy or smooth peanut butter. But I just ended up putting some of that on some rice crackers as well as a whole banana which I just chopped up. And I added cinnamon. Guys, if you guys don't do this whenever you're having peanut butter and banana, you guys seriously have to. It makes it taste like banana bread. Then I just added some chia seeds and I made a cup of my favorite tea in the entire world, which is rooibos. I have to have like at least one cup a day, otherwise my day feels very, very incomplete. I ended up having my breakfast upstairs while reading my book. I really love to take my morning slow now that I have the time, especially at the beginning of the week, just so that I end up easing into everything instead of jumping into everything all at once. I ended up having Vada, which is an Indian prayer guru offering to God. My mom made tons of it over the weekend. I later ended up making myself an iced matcha latte, which I only actually tried and started to love within the last two or so months. So I'm fairly new at making it myself. I used to actually get it at my nearby cafe. So if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know down below. I would love to know how to improve my recipe. But I just ended up sifting the powder to get rid of any lumps and I added a little bit of water enough to make it into a concentrated liquid and I'm just whisking it again to make sure it's evenly whisked through until some foam formed at the top and I ended up pouring it into a glass and adding some ice cubes. I like mine quite cold, it's quite refreshing that way and I just ended up putting in coconut milk. This was actually a vegan iced matcha latte so you guys can definitely try this out if you are a vegan or a vegetarian or lactose intolerant but I ended up just mixing that together and it was so so good you guys can add more sugar if you want but I like it to be quite earthy tasting I feel like it just makes me feel more refreshed And then a common thing which my family and I do for dinners is if we have curry from the previous days, we just make it into a toasted sandwich. And as a snack after that, I just had some nuts. On Tuesday, I just rinsed some fruit. We just had grapes and strawberries. So I added that with some yogurt here. I'm just using a blueberry flavored yogurt. And I like the creaminess from the full cream milk or whatever yogurt you call it and i ended up adding almonds and i don't know why i always tend to add in seven almonds it's like my lucky number for adding any nuts actually to my meal and i just ended up putting in some all bran which is just a type of cereal which is really good for you actually for fiber and things like that the next meal was kind of simple because i was running into university straight after this so i just ended up putting something which my family and i love when we are fasting or just me as a vegetarian and that is veggie loni it's a poloni soya based product it actually comes in two variations and this is my first time trying the in quotation marks chicken variation and i just ended up lightly searing it and having that along with some leftover pasta from the weekend which my cousin actually made which is actually so simple but so delicious so it's just whatever pasta shape or pasta type you want some basic white sauce which you can get off the internet as well as some chopped broccolini with some garlic salt pepper and i think she added some chili flakes in here. i'm not a hundred percent sure but i had it so that i could just jet off quickly to university straight after and I'm literally like looking at this now in the video and Cody's face like to follow my food was so funny. It was so delicious. But by the time that I came back from university, it was really quite late. So my mom already made dinner. So it was just a variety of vegetables, bakes and some more of that poloni which you saw. As my snack before going to bed, I had my caramel corn from the Jumping Jack brand. 
on Wednesday, I ended up wanting a smoothie, even though it was so, so cold. I don't know what I fell for, but sometimes I just get up feeling for something fresh. So I just added in some strawberry, some grapes, a whole banana, some coconut yogurt, which I, that's my favorite flavor of yogurt, I think. And I just ended up blending that with our blender stick, just because our actual blender is broken since I don't even know when. And I just ended up going outside to enjoy that just to get some vitamin D. As you can see here, I was really shocked by how well this turned out. For lunch, I ended up just putting the spicy wedges from McCain's and some of that polony into the oven. Makes it really nice and crispy for both. So while that was in the oven, I actually made like a really nice salad for myself. So I just put some lettuce, some cherry tomatoes and some cucumber. I obviously washed this and also I washed my hands before ever touching any food. So just a disclaimer about that as well. And I ended up chopping all of those vegetables. I'm not sure why the cucumber looks like that, if you guys can see it, but I think it's just honestly from the tomato juice that was still on the cutting board. I ended up adding a quarter red onion for sweetness, as well as some avocado for creaminess. I know you guys are probably like, this is so typical of a vegetarian to have a salad, but I really love having it when I have stodgy things such as potatoes or the poloni so i ended up adding everything to a bowl along with some feta and pomegranate seeds which really changed the salad because it adds some sweetness i took out everything from the oven and i just ended up dishing however much i felt like and here's me beating a can of pickled beetroot because if you didn't know that releases the pressure and makes it very easy to open I then juiced about half a lime to add as my zest and I also added salt and pepper which I don't think I ended up getting clip off. Oh, there is it right here. But there's the salt and pepper. I really like using Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt, sorry, just because it's more healthier than just plain sodium. And that's what I ended up having for lunch. It was really delicious and very, very filling. For a snack, I just ended up having dragon fruit, which is actually one of my favorite fruits. Definitely have the white one and not the pink one as it tends to be sweeter. And then my second snack of the evening was just, of course, another cup of rooibos tea. I ended up pairing that with a chocolate flavored good morning breakfast biscuit. Wow, that was a mouthful. On Thursday, unfortunately, I was not feeling great in the morning. So I only ended up eating later on, like around lunchtime. And I made ramen. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I have received tons and tons of comments on my stories asking for my recipe. And finally, I have it for you guys. So I just put in some garlic, some soy sauce and whatever vegetables I have, depending on if I want to add vegetables or not depending again on how big my appetite is so i just ended up sauteing some broccolini which we had left over that we didn't use in the pasta that i showed before as well as some chickpeas which are a great great source of protein if you guys did not know and i added just some water so that i can end up steaming the vegetables while i cut up some poloni although this variation is actually the inverted commas lamb variation and it's my more favorite one just because it's more flavorful than the chicken one and I added that to my saute pan. I then made the actual noodles. I tend to like the Woolworths brand just because there's less MSG and it doesn't hurt my stomach as much and I also prepped all the garnishes so just some red onion, some homemade pickle onion and just obviously some singing because my sister was playing the album from The Greatest Showman. And then I just added the flavor packet and tons of garlic. You guys can see how much garlic you want, but I love garlic, so I added quite a lot. And then just some garlic and ginger, which is ground at home by my mom. I also added in some peri peri calisto sauce, as well as the juice of half a lemon. And I then just mixed everything together. 
quite some time actually to make sure the flavors in the sauce and the noodles are evenly coated i then ended up just taking a curry chili pickle to mince and put into the ramen as garnish and i just ended up also putting whatever leftover green beans and the sauteed veggies and soya poloni that i had and let that simmer for a while so all the juices can get in you can see the broth is actually quite richer and i just ended up putting that into quite a big bowl I then garnished with all the chopped up onions that I had as well as some dania or coriander and some black sesame seeds. The black sesame seeds again really good for protein and the dania just adds an aromatic. So that is my so-called infamous ramen recipe which tons of you have asked me for. I really hope that it was easy to follow and also that it satisfies your craving for ramen because sometimes it can be expensive to buy and hard to get since we are in these uncertain times. Yeah, you guys can see I'm like recommending it so much. You guys definitely must let me know on Instagram if you try it out, send me pictures or even let me know in the comments down below how you guys like it. And I ended up just watching a series or a YouTube video. I honestly can't remember while eating that. As a snack, I just ended up having some pineapple with masala and salt, which is a very common Indian household snack. And for dinner, I just had this halloumi spicy fried rice that my mom made, which was so delicious. It was like a healthier version of biryani. And I had that with half an avo. On a Friday, I had some more of that delicious spicy rice with some tomato chutney as well as the other half of the avo that I didn't have the previous night. This was actually my snack and I know tons of people hate Turkish delight so let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not. And here's me failing. Take two. I honestly cannot believe how much of this poloni I had in the week but I think it's just because it's easy to do in this very hectic week of mine. And I ended up snacking on some chips and I ended up prepping for a beautiful wrap that I was going to make. So I just chopped up some cucumber, some pickles, there was lettuce there already, I don't know what happened but it just ended up there. Some more of the pickled onions, some pickled beetroot and half an avo. I ended up also making a garlic sauce to go into my wrap and obviously the proportions of the ingredients will just change according to how many people were making for but I was just making it for me so it was quite a little bit. So I just had some low fat Greek plain yogurt, some grated garlic, some salt, some pepper, some Italian herbs as well as some mixed herbs and I think that's all the spices that I added in. Oh I was wrong, I also added in this peri peri Nando's rub. And I just mix that also for quite some time because there's nothing worse than getting a whole clump of raw spices and just some juice of a lemon. I ended up grating in some more garlic just because you can never get enough, especially the name is a garlic sauce, so just tailor it to your palate. I then just used this Woolworths white flour tortilla wraps and I put that on a tava to crisp up a bit and get warm. And these are just the overview of any of the ingredients in case I missed anything. I ended up not adding feta because the wrap got quite big, which you'll see later. But there's a lot of fresh ingredients and it's quite a healthy recipe. So there's my beautiful flipping skills and here's me just layering on everything that I prepped onto my wrap. And nobody likes a dry wrap so I put quite a lot of the sauce on and some lemon juice and I was so happy with how it turned out. It was messy to eat but definitely worth it. I'm usually not a sweet tooth but I think maybe just the stress of the whole week really made me crave something sweet. So I just had these chocolate cake bite sized pieces from Woolworths as well as I tried vegan chocolate for the first time which was actually really really tasty surprisingly. And it doesn't make you feel very gluggy afterwards like chocolate usually does. And I just paired that up with whatever fruit was left over in the fridge. You can see there's quite a lot of raspberries in the chocolate and there's a cream layer in the chocolate cake. I hope you guys got some great meal ideas and hope you guys have a fabulous week ahead.